Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in Bilvavi Mishkan Evne, speaking about learning how to think about the fact that everything a person has in life is coming mi'es ha'kadosh baruch hu from Hashem and only from Hashem. Ha'od the mam shechli is bani. A person continues to think and meditate on these ideas. The ba'ishin in the yoshev ata, the house that I'm sitting in right now, mikav shekan ani agor. Who decided I'm going to live in this particular house, on this street, on this block, in this city, in this state, in this country? Who decided that? Even if I searched far and wide for a house, I saw many, many different apartments and homes. At the end of the day, this is the apartment, this is the house that found favor in my eyes. Am I the one who decided and set up that this is going to be the place I'm going to live for the next 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50 years of my life? Or maybe really it's all Hashem who decided this is the house I'm going to live in. Like Chazal teach us, Just like we said that there's a heavenly voice that rings out and says who you're going to marry, Guess what, say Chazal? There's a heavenly voice that announces where you're going to live. A person must think and meditate on these ideas. It's clear in his intellect that this is the way that it works. The words of Chazal are true, for sure. But in the beginning, he doesn't really think about this very often. It's rather, it's something that's kind of like lodged away in his memory banks. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, even my house was de- decreed by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. This is the house I'm going to live in. But he doesn't think about it on a regular basis. Furthermore, since in his mind he doesn't think about this constantly, so then it's not really in his heart. He's not feeling it in his heart on a regular basis either. Rather, says Bilvavi, the truth is that in one's heart, we're much more likely to believe that we are responsible for our destiny. We are the ones who decided which wife we're going to marry, which house we're going to live in, which car that we're going to drive, and we don't see really that it's all the Rebbein Nishayim. When a person begins to clarify clearly for themselves, once he gets clear in his seichel, in his mind, who made his zivug, who made his marriage? Umi kava es makay migurov, and who is the one that ended up making his house what his house is? Ulam yesh loy beis cheson is bekach. Meaning, says Bevavi Mishkan Evna that there's two things that we are lacking. Why we don't get to that place of clarity where we're living and breathing that it's all the ribay neshelam. And he says, number one, Aleph. We only think about it a little bit. If you only think about things a little bit, you're not going to get there. And Beis, secondly, the heart doesn't feel it. And therefore you have to make a strong decision. I'm going to think about these ideas a lot. And any other detail in my life that is similar to this, the car, the clothes that I'm wearing, the school that I went to, the yeshiva that I'm learning in, the shul that I go to, or so on, where I went on vacation, the, the Airbnb that I rented, everything. It's all the Rebbeinu Shailam. Vim Kane, if that's the case, Reishi is Yisakin as a Chisar and Arisha. First, you must fix up this lacking, which is that we don't think enough. Bekach shilapachis machshavtai hadvarim yu chayim betamidis. We have to try to get it to a place where we're thinking about these things constantly. You start thinking a little bit more every day, a little bit more every day, a little bit more every day, a little bit more every day. With a clear and a pure and quiet mind. Little by little, you'll begin to acquire these things inside of your nefesh, inside your soul. 
And then it will end up transferring to your heart and you'll feel it inside your heart in the proper way. And that's our goal. We have to make this a reality for ourselves that we're literally living with a recognition, an understanding, and a real spiritual, emotional, real feeling deep inside of our bones and our heart that everything I have in my life, everything without fail, it's all coming from and decided by the Rebbeinah Shalom. Have a wonderful day.